What if we told you that Tesla is using the same brain used to run their electric vehicle to power a humanoid robot? Yes, that's right. We expected the real-life Iron Man to show us a suit of armor, just like Tony Stark. But instead, Elon Musk is here to reinvent the entire robotic industry with a new humanoid robot. Artificial intelligence marked its presence almost everywhere now. It is in your smartphones and also inside the car that you drive. 20 years ago, when people talked about the future, they expected us to have humanoid robots to get our chores done. And it looks like that future is happening right now. And the very first step towards that future was showcased during Tesla's AI Day in 2022 with the Tesla Optimus. But why are companies like Tesla excited about manufacturing humanoids? Why would an electric car manufacturer get into the robotic space in the first place? Well, that's exactly what we discuss in this video, so make sure to stick around till the end to know more about Tesla's new Optimus humanoid robot and how this humanoid will change the entire robotic industry and might even take over the world soon. In 2021, during the Tesla AI Day, Elon Musk showed off what looked like a Tesla-built humanoid robot called the Tesla Bot back in the day. But what we got instead was a human in a Tesla bot suit, showcasing some cool dance moves. Well done, Tesla. But a year later, during 2022's Tesla AI Day, the company showed us the very first working prototype, and that caught the attention of everybody, including industry experts in robotics. During the same event, a very early prototype of Tesla's proposed Optimus humanoid robot slowly and awkwardly walked on stage and was waving and cheering at the crowd. But if you look carefully, you would find a lot of exposed wires and electronics, which indicates that there is still a long way to go, as this is not a final product, and it's just a prototype. This means Elon Musk's vision of having human-humanoid robots around the world that will help you with boring and repetitive tasks is going to take at least three to five years. So how was Tesla able to pull this off in a year? What separates this robot from the rest would be the fact that Tesla will be using their full self-driving technology, the same technology that powers their autonomous vehicles. This also means that the robot will be backed by artificial intelligence systems that are trained using millions of video frames from the full self-driving data that was collected earlier. Of course, a humanoid robot might not have to deal with the same harsh conditions of the road, but it does have to deal with day-to-day -day tasks that humans do on a daily basis. You get 11 degrees of freedom in the hands and 28 structural actuators to replicate muscles. And the joints of these robots are inspired by biological human joints. The robot is equipped with a 2.3 kilowatt hour battery pack, and it can move at a speed of about 8 kilometers per hour, or about 5 miles per hour. So basically, the Optimus is just a re-engineered Tesla car in a different form factor that looks like a human being. But we do not have any evidence to prove that the Optimus is more intelligent than any other robots developed by other companies. But this is Tesla we're talking about. The company has got access to some of the world's top AI systems and engineers, along with all access to all the data required to train their AI models. Surprisingly, the robot looks very similar to the prototype that was showcased during last year's event. This robot, being a humanoid, has got several human biology-inspired designs which are not just limited to their hands. Instead, the entire robot is made to work like a human body. A Tesla engineer said that the robot will look and move just like a real person, and it is also going to be strong enough to handle most tasks. The machine will be smart enough to do everything that a human brain can do like processing all the data that it sees, making the right decisions, and having conversations with humans. Tesla also showed a video of the bot carrying boxes and placing a metal bar into what appeared to be a factory machine. But unfortunately, we did not see any live demonstration of the robot doing something similar. But what surprises us would be the fact that Elon, despite his company relying on AI, had a negative opinion on the unregulated advancements of AI-based systems, and he now wants to sell you his humanoid robot for $20,000 or less. Talk about irony, right? Not just that, Musk also stated that Tesla's robotics division will be much bigger than Tesla's vehicle business, which means it will bring in more profits for the company, making it a very important product for Tesla 
and it might take over the world soon. The excitement doesn't end there. Musk also said that this was the very first time the robot walked without a tether on the stage, and unlike the Cybertruck event where the unbreakable glass ended up breaking, we did not see any mishaps during this event. Tesla's goal with its robotics division is to make an extremely capable robot in high volumes. By high volumes, we are talking about millions of these robots at a cost that would be a lot less than a car. So when can you buy the Tesla Optimus humanoid robot? Well, Musk stated that people could probably buy the Optimus within three to five years, but we know how Musk and his deadlines worked out in the past. This might be because Elon Musk is ambitious and determined to get to where he wants to be. And there could be miscalculations due to several unseen circumstances, considering the fact that Tesla is a company doing things that no company has ever done, especially when it comes to building electric vehicles at a large scale. Something that's fun to drive and super fast, with performance that rivals supercars all at a fraction of the cost. But experts are of the opinion that Tesla is nowhere near close to rolling out legions of human-like robots that can do useful things. The point of this robot, according to Musk, is to help with dinner, mow the lawn, and also take care of elderly people. Maybe this robot could be a companion for you if you have no one to talk to. But do we need a humanoid robot? There are experts who think that building a robot that is affordable and useful, in humanoid shape, might not be the best thing to do, because it's not going to be as efficient as humans are when it comes to getting things done. Think about it this way. The point of machines is to do a very specific thing, and that is the only way to make these more efficient. For example, if you want to wash your dishes, you buy a dishwasher, because the machine that is specifically built to wash your dishes will do just that. Simple as that. Maybe Tesla is trying to pump up the share prices and also bring in more excitement to the brand that the company lacks now due to several unfulfilled deadlines, especially with the Cybertruck, Roadster 2.0, and the Tesla Semi-Truck. But where a humanoid robot will make a lot of sense is when it is made to interact with the world that we created for ourselves, because everything around us has been built in such a way that our human form factor will be utilized to its maximum potential. So why not create something that looks very similar to us, so that these machines can also use what we have been enjoying all these years? But Tesla is not the only company that is working on humanoid robots. That being said, the other companies are also in the prototype phase, so you have to give Tesla the credit for developing a robot within just one year, at least a prototype version. Honda, about two decades ago, showcased their ASIMO robot, which resembled a life-size space robot and was shown in a carefully orchestrated demonstration to pour liquid into a cup. Even Hyundai, after acquiring robotics firm Boston Dynamics, showcased their own humanoids and animal-like robots. Even Ford has partnered up with Oregon startup Agility Robotics, a company that is responsible for making robots with two legs and two arms that can walk and lift packages. So it's clear that Tesla has got a lot of competition. But when you look at Tesla's track record, this company has got the power to disrupt the entire robotics industry, and these robots might soon take over because of its unfair advantage with their software, hardware, and the data collected to train the full self-driving AI model. But there are several critics who think that Tesla's self-driving tech, which rely on cameras and powerful computers to drive by themselves, do not have enough sensors to drive safely, making Tesla's version of autopilot systems less capable and it is also under investigation by U.S. safety regulators for breaking with no reason and repeatedly running into emergency vehicles with flashing lights parked along freeways. Back in 2019, Musk also promised a fleet of autonomous robot taxis, which was supposed to hit the road by 2020, and we know how 2020 ended up. 